Okay, welcome to this screencast. My name is Erik Sjöstrand and uh, I go by Kungsgeten on some social medias. Uh, this screencast will be about my latest Emacs package called OrgBrain. In order to install it, you can do package install OrgBrain. It's on Melpa now, so apparently we have installed it. So, what can you do from here? Well, you can use org brain and you get a couple of different things. The first thing we want to do is use to use org brain open and open an entry. And we do not have any entries right now in our org brain, but let's type one called index. So now we're in a new buffer called index.org. So this is just a normal org file and I can write information in it. Let's give it the title. Uh, we can call it brain index for instance. And uh, this is just a normal uh, uh, org, org mode file so I can write whatever I want in it. Uh, the special thing is that you can link to other files in your org brain directory because all your org brain files is in this directory. and. Uh, uh, by default, this is in your org directory in a subfolder called brain. But you can customize that if you want to. Customize group uh, org brain, and you get and you can change org brain path if you want to. Okay. Uh, so in order to link to another entry, we can just use a normal uh, org brain. Uh, just a normal org mode uh, link. So. I want to link to uh, various software, for instance, and in this software word, we want to create a link on that. So link brain, and if I type uh, uh, tab, then it will show my entries. Right now I haven't saved an entries, but I want to create a new one called software. Uh, okay. and. Uh, Alright, so now I got this uh, link, and you can see that it got a pretty weird uh, look. That's because we haven't defined any any uh, this file doesn't exist yet. So if I am to open this one, then it will show up like this, and I can uh, give it a title as well. Uh, software and write something. I have a lot of software on my computer. My computer. Okay. Uh, so this is basically a standard org mode practice. It works a bit like a wiki. Uh, and also if I uh, were to kill this buffer and uh, reload it. Yeah, now you can see that it got uh, underlined instead uh, this link, so uh, that's because we now have this entry. So you can see that in your file if the entry exists or not. So the other thing you can do is to use org brain visualize, and this is where it gets interesting. So now I have uh, my index file as the main entry, and I can see uh, the parents, this one has no parents, but I can see the children as well. So if I uh, just go to software, then you can see that, okay, this is the software entry, and it has one parent, which is brain index. And it's also pinned up here, and we'll talk about that later. So I can add children to this one. Let's say to software, I want to have a sh sh child named text editors, and perhaps one named window managers, and perhaps another one called web browsers, for instance. So now this has three uh, uh, children, and uh, you can also see here that uh, I got this uh, thing right here, and that's uh, a headline in the file, because all these uh, children are just links in my org file, uh, so if I open this, 
So you can see, okay, it's added a, a new headline called Brain Children, and these these are links, but since they don't exist yet, uh, they have this weird look. I'm using a theme which I'm uh, usually use my own customized theme, but it doesn't look very good, so I switched to this one and I realized that it doesn't look very good either, so I have to apologize for that. Alright, um, so if I close this and go back to our brain visualize, I can also add uh, various resources to this uh, file. So let's say that I want to, uh, in the software entry, link to various um, uh, home pages, for instance. So if I switch to my to my web browser right here, okay, now I've got the Netflix page that wasn't what I wanted. Okay, so here is uh, the Arch Linux uh, page or list of applications. I think they uh, do a good job of uh, telling me what kind of different software there is if I want to uh, find something. So let's copy that link, copy, and switch back to Emacs. So right now I can just paste the link, uh, Control Y, uh, and I have a description to it. Uh, Arch Linux uh, software list. Okay, so it is opened. It is opened uh, here. So I have this software link list which I can go to. So if I press, uh, if I were to click on this link, then it would open in the web browser. And if I were to click on this, then I would open the file and go to the Brain Children uh, headline. Yeah. So let's go into text editors next. And uh, I. Uh, Perhaps I want to add a child here called Emacs. And I think I will be writing a lot about Emacs, so I want to put this in a directory called Emacs and a file called Emacs. So Emacs slash Emacs. All right. Now we have Emacs, and let's go into that. And I actually want to create a parent to this one. So I can press P and call it. Uh, My favorite software. Okay, so now Emacs has got two parents, so you can see both of them text editors and my favorite software. Um, I also want to add a resource to this one uh, called Info Emacs. Uh, yeah. uh, Emacs Manual. So now I can go to the Emacs manual by clicking here. That's pretty nice. Um, and if I go to uh, the favorite software, yeah, I can also open just open the Emacs entry and like, uh, add a title to it and write some information about it. So I started using Emacs. Uh, in about 2000, when was it? Nine, perhaps. I like it a lot. All right. So uh, now we're back uh, here, and uh, perhaps I want to go to my favorite software, uh, the entry here, and I want to add uh, software as uh, as a parent to this one. So then you can also see here that you can see. Not only the parent, but also the the um, siblings of each parent. So you can see that software not only includes my favorite software, but also web browsers, window managers, and text editors. And a child to my favorite software is Emacs. Uh, now this is a entry which uh, an entry which I probably want to visit frequently. So I want to open this up. And add a thing called a brain pin to this. So if I save that and update my buffer, then my favorite software get 
gets out of the, up here as a pin. So it doesn't matter now which um, which uh, entry I'm visiting. I can always go back to my favorite software. All right. So this is the basic functionality of OrgBrain. You uh, link stuff uh, entries with other entries, and they can see this in this. Uh, visualized uh, thing up here. Uh, it works by having uh, org mode files in this directory, so if I go to my brain directory here in uh, DRAD, you can see that okay, I have this org file for index, my favorite software, software and text editors. Um, if I go to the Emacs folder, then I also have Emacs right here. Uh, so I can open it up like this. I can use old brain visualize, which we, if you are already in on the brain file, it will by default choose that one. But I can just back up here and you can choose about, among your entries. Um, perhaps I want to add uh, another one called Emacs slash org mode, since I like org mode a lot, um, where I could write something about that, and perhaps one called Emacs. No, then I was probably going to org mode, and add one called emacs slash org brain, since that's what we're doing right now. And I go up here, and uh, I can call it done because we're done with this, and uh, do a screencast about org brain. Perhaps I want another to-do thing, like uh, I want to be able to uh, delete links from uh, the org visualize buffer, because that's one of the features which isn't existing right now. And now I can do meta x org, oh, org brain agenda. And, uh, yeah, uh, I, my agenda is might look a bit weird because uh, I have various stuff in it. But uh, this is just it is will use your usual agenda org agenda settings, but only scan the files in your org brain folder. So now we can see that this to do thing like to do delete links from org visualize buffer is ends up here. So you can use the org brain as an agenda as well if you want to. Uh, yeah. I think that's it for the screencast. Uh, OrgBrain is available on Malpa right now, and uh, you can also check it out at GitHub if you search for OrgBrain or just visit uh, my. Uh, perhaps I want to add a link uh, to uh, my home the homepage of OrgBrain here. So. Uh, HTTP colon slash slash uh, github.com slash can you see it then slash org brain oh and if I visualize it right now we'll see that we can also go here press enter and it will show up in our browser Right, I don't know why it focuses on that tab when I switch here, but okay, we can see that we're on the Workbrain homepage. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm sorry if I've been rambling a bit and uh, been a bit unclear, but I'm not really used to doing this kind of screencasts. Thank you for watching again.